Hey though, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy G Tactical Jody, and we back with some more pressure, boy. So I made a poll on my page a couple months ago when I was asking y'all, what do y'all think my first non-Glock should be? And y'all voted. And y'all voted. It was between two guns. It was between the MP 2.0 and it was between the Echelon. Well, we finally got my non Glock today and to be honest with y'all it ain't neither one of them two we did a thing today we did a thing today i have to i have to do this right here hold on y'all see the box y'all see the box i have to go with cz man i have to go with cz i don't know it was just something about going back to you know what i'm saying more old school guns you feel me instead of going for the new new hotness i wanted to backtrack and still show some love to the old school stuff you know what i'm saying so today we just gonna get right into this <sighs> this is what we ended up picking up today Shiki! stop playing with it and if y'all don't know this is the cz p10c this is the c model they got a, a m model which is supposed to be like a slim compact they got a f model which is a full size I think they got a subcompact too, but this is the 15 round variant right here. So this would be a direct competitor to the Glock 19, you know what I'm saying? And it just go crazy. Now, I ain't took this to the range yet. I just got back from my LGS, you know what I'm saying? So this is brand new to me, man. I've been watching videos after video after video on it. And the people that inspired me or the gun tubers that really inspired me to get this for real, Shout out to that boy, Work the Trigger, first of all, because this is what he carried. He carried a P10C. So, and I've been watching his video since I started uh, getting in the guns, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to him. And then, who else was it that? It was him, and then it was, uh, yeah, him, and then also that boy, Honest Outlaw. Shout out to Honest Outlaw. Y'all go follow both of their channels, subscribe to both of their channels, and watch all of their videos, man. But, yeah, both of them right there. Them the two YouTubers or gun tubers that inspired me to get the P10C, man. I'm going to tell y'all everything that this come with. We're going to do a full unboxing. So, yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's open this box up first of all. I like the bronze tabs that they got on there. That just go crazy, you feel me? Logo on the front, you feel me? We're going to open this right up and see what you get in this box. You get two mags, first of all. You get two mags. And then the one that I got, this is the 10 round version. So I got the version with two 10 round mags. These are the Cali compliant mags. But I'm not tripping because I seen on forums and I done seen on the tool that you can modify these mags to be 15 rounders. So I'm going to do the modification. I'm going to find out how to do it first. You feel me? And we going to do that. But yeah, two 10 round mags. But usually you'll be getting two 15s. You know what I'm saying? So you get three back straps, man. Small, medium, and large. I already been playing with the back straps. I threw the medium one on there, and that's the one I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? Snap cap. Look like they give you a snap cap. I wonder why they only give you one though. I don't know. Then you got some Allen wrenches in here. I don't know what the Allen wrenches is for, but yeah, they give you some Allen wrenches, man. No instruction manual. You got some your bristle brush for cleaning cleaning rod and last but not least your gun lock but yeah man that's everything that you get in the box let's take a look at the pistol now man off the rip when i got this now before i got this i had already uh i never shot one i'm not gonna cap i ain't never shot one but uh at the range that i go to and at different gun stores i would always ask to pick up the p10c you know what i'm saying so i already knew how it felt but now that i got my own you feel me it's just and yeah, having it at the crib and really dry firing and feeling it for real for real i can say i can speak on it now you feel me but yeah this got real aggressive texture on here if you see it and i know for a lot of y'all just like me it kind of remind you of a glock you know what i'm saying the the stippling pattern that they got on here it remind you of a glock but it don't feel like a glock on the back is way more aggressive than a glock and on the front i don't know if y'all can see that for real but it's way more aggressive and then, as I already said, it come with the three back straps, you feel me? So, you could change up the thickness of your grip. I don't know if it really changed the grip angle or nothing like that. I don't know. But I know it changed the thickness. 
This is the second gen P10C. They got a first, a 1.5, and a, and a two. This is the second gen right here. And the second gen don't come with an ambi, a fully ambi uh, mag release. This is actually just a one-sided reversible mag release. So I could put it on either side, you know what I'm saying? That's a dub for CZ, man. That's a dub for them. Let's take a look at this slide real quick, man. Look at these serrations. Crazy. And I already been dry firing it. And these serrations is real nice. They real tactical. They grip you back and all that. I like the chamfering that they did on a slide too. It's not just blocked off like a Glock or nothing like that. You feel me? It got more of that, like what the dagger did. You know what I'm saying? They, they did that chamfering on the edges. I like that, man. And the finish on this slide is sleek. I'm not going to cap. It's real sleek. And another thing, the lockup, like the slide to barrel lockup, it's butter on me. It's butter. This thing is butter smooth for real. Like I never none of my Glock clones, none of my none of my guns is as smooth as this is. You know what I'm saying? As far as the slide goes, when you racking it, I can't cap. It's just it is what it is. But yeah, man, you also get some type of a thumb ledge. Y'all see they got the little serrated or stippling right there. You know what I'm saying? They got the stippling right there. And it helped, you know what I'm saying? It's good to have it. I'd rather have it than not have it at all, you feel me? So that's a, that's another dub for CZ, you know what I'm saying? And then this trigger, man, this trigger on here, this is the big selling point for the CZ P10 series is they triggers. This is, and honestly, I, I will say, this is, just from dry fire, the best trigger out the box that I ever had, that I ever owned, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely, let's take a look at the trigger uh, press real quick. Uh, check it out, y'all. So take up, boom, you hit a wall. Reset one more time for y'all. Boom, right there. Back at your wall, break. So yeah, man, the trigger on this thing is a dub. Out the box, I thought I was going be wanting a apex trigger or or another trigger for this nah this trigger straight i ain't gonna need to change this out at all it's already gucci for real for real right out the box and i threw a short fire x300 on here off of one of my other builds i'm not keeping this on here i'm gonna do a tlr7 on this build because i think it just looked better on the compact i don't know oh we also got suppressor height sights on here and they don't all come with suppressor high sights. It depends on what model you get. Like I said, this is the model that I got. It's the California compliant model. Only came with two 10 round mags. But yeah, man, it came with the suppressor high sights, uh, optic ready. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wouldn't say all the way optic ready. It's optic capable because I still got to get me a plate, an RMR plate. You know what I'm saying? Online. It didn't come with no plates. Hey, CZ, if you're watching this video, Y'all need to include plates with y'all guns. If y'all gonna claim that it's optic ready, it needs to be all the way optic ready. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to go pay extra money to go get plates so I could put a red dot on my thing. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it is. It's only $60, $70, so I ain't complaining too bad. But, yeah, we got the cutout for our optics, so that's another dub for CZ, man. I don't know, man. The mag release on here, it do its job. It kicked the mag right out. Check it out. Y'all seen that? It kicked the mag right out. Shoots it out, you know what I'm saying? So it got a nice effect with mag release on here. It take down just like a Glock. All you gotta do is pull the trigger, pull the slide back, boom, 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 do your thing. I can't do that. Y'all already know the YouTube police be doing their thing. But yeah, it take down just like a Glock. The internals on here though, the way that they Mechanics is in here. It's not like a Glock. It's a completely different when I open it up and look they look completely different than the Glock So I'm gonna have to learn this ecosystem You know what I'm saying when it comes to stripping it all the way down cleaning it put it back together So yeah, it's definitely gonna be something a little bit different Another thing check out the slide release on here y'all see they put that big ass Slide release on there and I've been seeing videos and people be saying that it's real stiff But Mine ain't stiff, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the first gen, you know what I'm saying? But maybe the gen tools, they fixed it. Cause mine ain't stiff. But yeah, man, I'm rocking with it so far. I'm definitely rocking with it. Most stiff. I'm gonna have to convert these mags. Cause 
I only got the 10 rounders, but yeah, I'm gonna have to convert these to 15 rounds. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to get some type of talent grips to handle the grips just for my support hand, you feel me? Just for this area right here. But yeah, overall, if I would say, is this a cop or a drop, just based off of the unboxing and the trigger and everything right now, I give it a dub, man, it's a cop. Most definitely, it's a cop. I'm not gonna tell y'all to pick one up because we still gotta put rounds through this. We still gotta see if it's reliable, if it hold up, can it run hollows? Is it good for self-defense? You know what I'm saying? That's what the real question is at the end of the day. So we gonna find out all of that, man. We gonna find out all of that. I already got upgrades coming for this, so it'll be complete real soon. I'ma update y'all once I get all the parts in and we gonna go for the first range day with the CZ P10C, man. And I know I ain't go over all the specs. If y'all want all the specs, go watch somebody else's video. I just want to do an unboxing and get y'all my initial impressions of the gun. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's the CZ P10C going crazy. Stupid. Look at that thing. Crazy. Yeah, I'm liking this. But yeah, man, hey. It's hot as a bitch. I'm sweating. It's your boy G-Tactical Jody. I'll see y'all in the next one, man.